Hello once again, and welcome to Lesson 3 of Beginning Sign with Professor Oren Otter. That's me. Today we're going to learn some more signs for helping you learn sign, along with some more food items and some moods and uh, a whole bunch of animal signs. So let's start off with uh, signs for learning. Learn is like this taking something out of a textbook and putting it in your brain. Learn. Study. Like this. You're casting a magic oogie boogie over your textbook as, you're, as you study it. Study. For teach, you're pulling something out of your brain. For teacher or professor, you're going to add the suffix er person. So, teacher would be teach person. Professor, same thing. Teach er. Some interrogative words. Why? You're pulling your hand from your brain and making a letter Y. Why? How is this? When you ask someone how they're doing, you're hoping they're going to give you two thumbs up. This is how. Who? Put your thumb on your chin and you make a little wiggly question mark. So, to review those, learn, study, teach, teacher, why, how, and who. If you want to know how well you're doing, good, and bad is the opposite. Flip your hand over. So good and bad. Now some food words, some of my favorite words. Bacon. You're indicating ripples in a strip of cooked bacon. Bacon. Cabbage. Head of cabbage. Cake. You make a letter C for cake, and you slice your cake. Cake. For ice cream, you hold your thumb like this, and you pretend it's an ice cream cone. Ice cream. So bacon, cabbage, cake, and ice cream. Now for some mood words, happy, you have a happy feeling welling up in your chest. Sad, your whole face is just kind of rainy. Anger, Rawr. and grouchy is basically anger in your face, grouchy. And for afraid, don't touch me. So again, happy, sad, anger, grouchy, afraid. And now for some animal words. Animal is like this. An animal breathes, so the sign for animal is a heaving chest. Insect, two little feelers coming off the nose there. Ant, you're basically making a little ant out of your hands. Rabbit, your thumbs make the ears, and to sign rabbit, you have a pair of twitchy whiskers. This is rabbit. Dog, you snap for the dog, and you hit your hip twice. You can't see that on the camera, I'm sorry. This is dog. Cat, indicating whiskers. Tiger is similar. You use your whole face for that. So cat, tiger. Rat, twitchy little nose. Bear, big set of bear claws. For a teddy bear, you do the same thing, just more gently. Horse, horse ear. Anteater, you put together the signs for ant, 
eat and er. So ant eater. And for otter, I looked all over the web, couldn't find a sign for otter, so I made one up myself. An animal with a flopping fish in its mouth. That's otter. And now for your homework. This week's sentences are How are you now? How are you now? That is a good cake. That is a good cake. My professor is a happy otter. My professor is a happy otter. The anteater wants my ice cream. The anteater wants my ice cream. Who is that happy horse? Who is that happy horse? Why didn't the dog want my bacon? Why not dog want my bacon? I taught the teddy bear to eat bad cabbage. I teach past tense teddy bear to eat bad cabbage. Let me organize my notes a bit here. The grouchy tiger did not study the sign for cat. Grouchy tiger not study past tense sign for cat. How is the Chinese rat not afraid? How Chinese rat not afraid? You are a sad, bad insect. You are a sad, bad insect. Why did you learn the sign for anger? Why you learn sign for anger? Those are your sentences for this week. If you're participating in the course, just record a video with you signing those sentences and post them as a response to this video. Well, thank you all for attending, and I'll see you next time in lesson number four.